E-cigarette use doubles among young people, U.S. News and World Report. U.S. News and World Report. Store. Twitter. Facebook. Google Plus. Sections. Home. News and Opinion. Health. Money. Education. Cars. Travel. Law. Special Reports. STEM. Jobs in 2020. How to Live to 100. Cybersecurity. Hospital of Tomorrow. Rankings. Health, Health and Wellness. Home. Hospitals. Doctors. Health Insurance. Nursing Homes. Health and Wellness. Best Diets. Top Recommended Health Products. Eat Plus Run Blog. How to Live to 100. Home is greater than health is greater than health and wellness is greater than e-cigarette use doubles among young people. E-cigarette use doubles among young people. We talk with the CDC's Tim McAfee about e-cigarettes and why more young people are giving them a try. By Laura McMullen. September 5th, 2013 RSS feed print. Comment left parenthesis right parenthesis. Tweet. Alarming and disturbing. This is how Tim McAfee, director of the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention's Office in Smoking and Health, describes the new findings on electronic cigarette use among young people. Experimentation with e-cigarettes more than doubled among U.S. middle school and high school students from 2011 to 2012, to the point that 10% of high school students have given them a try, according to data released Thursday by the CDC. Need a primer in e-cigarettes to understand the significance of the new findings? They are battery-powered devices that typically dispense nicotine and other additives in an aerosol. While users don't light e-cigarettes, they otherwise use it in the same way as the conventional varieties. Many brands even look like the conventional cigarettes, while others appear more futuristic. McAfee describes them as simply nicotine delivery devices. The fact that more and more youth are trying e-cigarettes was enough for the CDC to do something rare. The agency published the e-cigarette findings in an article Thursday called Notes from the Field, which McAfee points out, is usually reserved for very urgent matters the type of thing that would be done for something like a foodborne epidemic for which we'd need to get the word out quickly. U.S. News talked with McAfee about the significance of the report and about e-cigarettes. His responses have been edited. Why are these new findings so concerning to you? For one, e-cigarettes their manufacturing, marketing, distribution and sales are unregulated. Although they have fewer toxins in them than conventional cigarettes, they are not safe, and they have levels of toxins that we don't know about, because they are unregulated. Even if one brand tests very low levels at one point, the next month, many more e-cigarettes are coming off assembly lines in China, so we don't know what's actually in them. The other concern is that, if a 13-year-old is experimenting with an e-cigarette, we have reason to be very concerned that this could increase his or her chances of eventually experimenting with conventional cigarettes. They are going to get used to the idea that it's cool to bring a white cylinder up to their mouth and suck on it. They are going to see ads that look sexy. They are going to see older role models using these. And as long as cigarettes continue to be ubiquitous in our society, we are very, very concerned that this could ultimately end up with more people smoking cigarettes than less. And this is particularly worrisome with youth. The last issue is nicotine. These are nicotine delivery devices. There's increasing evidence that exposure to nicotine in adolescence has negative effects in brain development. Any thoughts on why more young people are smoking e-cigarettes? All the efforts that both society and, to some extent, the tobacco manufacturers themselves have undertaken in the last 20 years to decrease youth initiation of cigarettes do not apply to e-cigarettes, because they are unregulated. What we are seeing is the return of the marketing of a tobacco product to television, the use of actors and actresses to glorify e-cigarette use, as well as uncertainty and ambiguity about their use in public places by most governmental entities all of which is being taken advantage of in both the formal marketing